Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part 10 of the same one that is the chapter innings. We have done some of the problems in the previous, you can see in the previous video. So now let us do the remaining ones. So we'll start with question number 3. So we have to divide this 105 into two parts such that one half of the first exceeds one fifth of the second part by 35. So now let us consider one part. We can select one part BX. So the other part is going to be because we are going to divide this 105 into two parts. So the other part is going to be 105 minus X. And what is given here? One half of the first exceeds one fifth of the second. So one by two of the first, what is first X? Minus here we can say one by five because one fifth of the second. So second is the other part is one zero five minus X. So one by five into one that is by 35 means is equal to 35. This equation should be written correctly. So now this one, one by two X, we can also write by X by two. So now what we'll do here, we will expand this one and this. So what is going to be minus 105 by five and this is going to be plus X by five. This will be 35. So now what we can see here, two, five and five. So the LCM here is going to be 10. So here, what will you write? You are going to multiply this by five. This you are going to multiply by two. This you are going to multiply by two. So same thing is done over here and the right hand side is going to be the same. So after doing this step, what are you going to write here? 5x minus here 210 plus here 2x. And this the denominator is 10. So you are going to write it only once is 35. So when you solve this one x together, so that is going to be 7x. This minus 210 as it is. And the denominator is 10 is equal to 35. So now what will you do? This thing let us keep as it is. And this 10, we can take it on the right hand side. So 10 into 35. So what will you write? Again, this is the same. So this is going to be 350. So 7x on one side. 350 is on the same side. That is the right hand side. This goes on the right hand side. So that is going to be plus 210. So what will be here? 7x will be when you add this one. So that is going to be 560. So x will be 560 divided by 7. So it will be when you divide this, you get 80. So x is 80. So the one part, we have considered this as x. So the other part is going to be 105 minus 80. So the second part is 105 minus this x. So that will be rupees 25. The first part is 80. And the second one, the other part is 25. So this both we can consider. A train is traveling at the speed of 65 km per hour from Mumbai to Patna. Patna. So on its return journey, it travels at a speed of 60 km per hour and takes 5 hours more than the onward journey. So what is the distance between Mumbai and Patna? So now here, the distance between Mumbai and Patna be, let us consider this the distance as D. So for speed for onward journey, that is 65 km per hour, that is given. And speed for the return journey is 60 km per hour. So now you know for onward journey with the formula for the speed, that is speed is equal to distance by time. So now how we can remember this one, this formula, I have told many times, but then still I'll repeat it, D by T, D divided by T. So we can use anything. You can just think of any words. This is detergent. So it starts with D and T because many of them make a confusion in this formula. So that will be D by T. So the speed is 65. So we don't know the distance and the T we can consider as small T here. So now what will you do if we take on this side T so this D is already here. So this will come in the denominator. So that will be D by 25. Hope this step is clear to you. This is for onward journey. Now for return journey, they said, so again, we'll consider the same formula. Speed is equal to distance by time. And here the speed is given as 60. And then it takes five hours more than the onward journey. So we can write here 
in place of this time where it can vary here because it takes five hours more means t plus five. So now if we take this t plus five here, this is already in the numerator. So this goes here in the denominator. So that is going to be d by sixty. This is the other step. So now we have to see what did they say? What is the distance between Mumbai and Patna? So here, this is d by sixty minus d by twenty five. Uh, sorry, uh, d by sixty five. That is five. So now we will take the LCM of this sixty and sixty five. We can take and see sixty and sixty five. So it starts with two thirty. Always start with two first. Two fifteen is up. So now this will go with the uh, three three fives and then sixty fives are. So this will go with five, and this will be thirteen. And this will be thirteen ones are so sixty five, and this will be three two is a six and eight. So sixty five into eight, that will be oh, just to make me do it again sixty and sixty five. Two thirty is a, and here will be two fifteen is a. So here three fives are. So here will be five ones are, and five thirteens are, and thirteen ones are. So thirteen fives are sixty five, and here will be sorry this will be three twos are six and six twos are twelve. So this will be sixty five and twelve. So this will be twelve fives are sixty and twelve six is seventy two and that is going to be seven hundred and eighty. So the LCM is seven hundred and eighty. So this what we are going to do sixty. We are going to multiply it by thirteen. So this also will be thirteen. And this sixty five we are going to multiply by twelve. And this also will be twelve. So when you multiply this both, it should be seven eighty. So this will be thirteen D minus here twelve D divided by this will be seven hundred and eighty. That is five. So now thirteen minus twelve means it is just going to be one. So one D means we don't divide one. So this will go here. That will be five into seven eighty. So D is three nine. When you multiply this, you get three nine zero zero. And that distance, because that is a distance, that will be in kilometer. So that is what they have asked. So what is the distance between Mumbai and Patna? So the distance between Mumbai and Patna is three thousand nine hundred kilometer. A daily wage worker was engaged for thirty days. She was paid rupees eighty for each day she worked. Eighty day this one rupees eighty for each day she worked and was fined rupees fifteen for each day she was absent. At the end of the month she received one thousand nine hundred and twenty five rupees. So for how many days was she absent? So now here, what will you do here? First thing, let the number of days she worked. Let us consider this as x. And the number of days she was absent will be what? Because there are how many days here? She was engaged for thirty days, so that will be thirty minus x. So what will you do here? She was paid eighty for each day she worked. So what will you write? Eighty. In this one, you are going to multiply this by eighty, and here and fifteen. This one. She was fined rupees fifteen for each day she was absent. So what are you going to do? This you are going to multiply by fifteen. So hope this is clear. Eighty x minus fifteen into three or thirty minus x, and then she got nineteen hundred and twenty five. So this statement is important here. So now let us write this the same. This will expand it, so that will be four hundred and fifty, and this is going to be plus minus minus becomes plus. So it is going to be plus fifteen x, and this will be nine nineteen twenty five. So now let us take this x together. So that this will be here, nineteen twenty five, and this minus four fifty is going to be plus four fifty. So when you add this one, so that should be ninety five x will be two three seven five. So x is going to be two three seven five divided by ninety five, and when you divide it, you get we can divide and see we get twenty five days. So x what we have considered that the number of days she worked. So she worked twenty five days. And number of days absent was thirty because we have considered this as thirty minus x. So from you will write here thirty minus x and x is twenty five. So 
30 minus in place of with this x we'll write 25 so that is 5 days a carpenter puts a bidding around a wooden table whose length and breadth are in the ratio 7 is to 3 if the total cost of putting the building is rupees 1200 at the rate of rupees 30 per meter you have to find the dimensions of the table so now let us do one thing we can write here let the length of a wooden table be because the ratio is given as 7 is to 3 so this will be the length and this is going to be the breadth of the ratio is given so we can consider this as 7x meter and the breadth of wooden table is that is 3x meter and you should know because the this is given so you should know this is a table so first thing we have to find out the perimeter of the table and you know the well, this will be uh, because if the ratio 7 is to 3 means it is in the form of a rectangle so perimeter of the rectangle so that the, here the table is in the form of a rectangle that will be 2 i is into length plus breadth so length is 7x and the breadth is 3x so this will be 2 and this will be 10x so that will be 20x meter so the perimeter is 20x meter now they have given if the total cost of putting the building is rupees 1200 at the rate of rupees 30 per meter per meter means one meter that will be rupees 30 so cost of putting the building for one meter is rupees 30 so cost of this will be because this is the perimeter means 20x so what will be that 20 into 30, 20x into x is there x into 30 that is going to be 600x so now here what is given here the total cost is 1200 so 600x is 1200 so x is going to be 1200 divided by 600 so this will be 2 so x is 2 so now we want a dimension so what are the dimensions we have considered the length as 7x and this is the 3x so we can write we got the value of x is 2 so length of table that is 7x so 7 into 2 so that is going to be 14 meter and the breadth is 3x so that will be 3 into 2 so that will be 6x so by this one we have completed today's work do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of the other parts thank you